everybody, so today I'm filming a vlog with mum, me and mum are going shopping, she's over here, and I'm using uh, the ring light that Leanne got me, it's like a ring light that you put on your phone, so oh, helps so me with vlogging, um, I'm not going to use it in town because I look like a widow, um, but anyway, we're going shopping, we need to buy some stuff for Aubrey's present, well I do because it's his birthday on the 3rd of January, and I did buy a few things yesterday, so I'll... Uh, Hello there. That's really bright. So I'll show you what I bought um, yesterday to, when we get home because I bought a few little bits and bobs from Tesco. Did I put you off your thread there? Mm, a little, but oh. not really. Sorry. I've bought some stuff. Mum? Mum's bought some stuff too. Yeah. We're coming Mom up to the toilets. Out. Yeah, I bought some stuff just for Aubrey's present, but I will show you it when I get back because his birthday's gonna be before this video goes up, so he would already know what he's got. Okay. Oh my god. We Got a bit soaked. Little bit oh wetter. god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, this isn't good. <laughs> my face is not too bad. It hasn't melted off. You've but got, yeah, my hair's dyed. It's in rat's tails. And also I was walking up Lindham Hill in Lincoln <laughs> and this happened to my lush bag. <laughs> Fortunately we realised what had happened yeah. there and then. We didn't leave the plug <laughs> behind. That's hilarious. The bottom just fell off. So the thing I got Aubrey for his birthday fell out the bottom and landed on the floor. That's hilarious. Look at that. That's a mess. That's not even. That looks like it's been mauled by a wild boar. That doesn't even look like it's just fallen to bits. Like, how does that happen? Out. At least we know that paper bags decompose easily because you yeah, know. So R.I.P. Lush bag. You know. Oh. oh hello. I'm gonna show you what I've got in whilst I'm in the car because I am cool. Hang on, kids. I was gonna show you what I've got in, but I think it might be easier if I show you when I get home. And I've also got some other bits to show you as well that I bought yesterday. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna head home now. We're in the car. Okay, so it's a bit later on now. In fact, it's like four o'clock and you can see my oily face. So I do apologize, I haven't powdered today, which I should have done. Um, but it's because I'm at home so I'm not really that bothered and plus it's been raining so yeah it does look really oily but the only reason why it looks so oily is because I've got this light on that Leanne gave me so shout out to Leanne for getting me this little um, ring light that I can attach to my phone because I've literally used it every single day um, so I'm just going to do a little haul of the things I bought yesterday and I'm going to show you the present I got for Aubrey and I can show you it because his birthday um, is tomorrow so he w by the time this video goes up he would have opened everything um, so yeah I was just thinking imagine if I was vlogging and I watched back this vlog and I saw someone standing in that window just staring in like that would just be a bit scary wouldn't it just a little bit so my face is so oily, but it's not actually that oily in real life. It just looks it because it's shiny with this light. Okay, so I've sat you down. I do apologise if that's a really weird angle. Um, but I'm just going to show you the things that I bought yesterday. So I stocked up on the collection Lasting Perfection Concealer, which is here. Yeah, I thought I'd just stock up on that and I got it in the shade Fair, which is number one, um, just to kind of highlight under my eyes, etc. I've had it before, so I know it's good. I also got the VO5 Heat Protect Serum, which I've not had before, but I was looking for a heat protect and I couldn't really find anything else. So I decided to pick this up, um, just cause 
just because it was there really it does make my hair feel a little greasy but it does make it feel soft which is good um so yeah picked that up by the way guys if you're wondering i don't usually film hauls like this if you're new to my channel i don't usually just dump the camera down and dump all the stuff i usually think it through quite a lot um so if you're thinking of not subscribing then please subscribe so just saying um <laughs> i also picked up a couple of daily moisturizers this one here is for well what i'm going to use for night time it's supposed to be the light one it has spf of 15 in it and when you open it it looks like this and it says it's light but it's actually quite rich compared to my old one that i've got and it is like really moisturizing so yeah i used that last night and i'm actually pretty happy with that and makes my skin very soft for the morning so that's always good and then just out of curiosity it was on offer it was like one pound fifty or one pound twenty five um, each but this was a tinted moisturizer and this also has SPF 15 in it and this is like a moisturizer to use in the morning it's slightly tinted it is a little bit too dark I did use it today I will use it in a video and show you it of course but not this one um but yeah I gave this a go it was a bit too dark but then I just put my normal foundation over the top of it um and it was fine so it's just kind of like an extra tint and it just makes your base look a little bit more full coverage um, so that's that. And then I also stocked up on a toner. I've never had this one before, so I thought I'd try the Nivea Refreshing Toner. And this is for normal and combination skin. Um, I would say that my skin is normal to oily. Like, it's not as oily as it used to be, but I would say it's probably more oily. Um, but anyway, I picked this up anyway. Just a good old toner. And then finally, I stocked up on some Batiste. This is the voluminous one. It's Heavenly Volume um, Batiste Dry Shampoo. And I really, really like this one. I think it's um, one of the better ones out of all of them because it really does give volume. So that's all the things that I picked up yesterday. I'm now going to show you what I got Aubrey from town. So first of all, I went to the Flying Tiger, which is like the best shop ever. Really, really good. I only got him a card though from there i got him this card here I, I kind of like cards to give people that don't say like happy birthday or anything like that i like cards that are quite simple or they've got something on them like um i don't know like, like just something quite i don't know i need to shut up okay i also went into lush and as i showed you the bag earlier it got wrecked it looked like we'd been mauled by a dog or something um but i actually gave got him this little package and because it's january sales perfect um this was actually reduced to eight pounds something and you get three products in it you get rocket science bath bomb the shower jelly if you know what these products are then good for you if you don't then you can research it if you want and then you also get christmas cracker and three products for eight pounds from lush would never happen so i'm very happy with that and it's all packaged and wrapped up for me which is good i then got him this which was four pound fifty I don't think he's going to watch this video unless I ask him to watch it. So I won't, I don't think he'll find out what I've got him. But I got him this little set of cookies. There's one, two, three. And this was £4.50. It was in the sales um, from £7.50. But I think even £7.50 for this looks quite nice, don't you think? This was from Debenhams. And it just looks like a nice present. So I got him that. And then the final thing, which was the main thing, which I probably borrow myself is a hoodie from Gap and I, as soon as I saw this I thought this looks like the kind of hoodie he would wear it's black completely and then it has the letters Gap written on it in kind of like a faded red I thought it just and I thought it just looked really cool so I got him that and that was reduced and I paid £19 for it so that was everything that I got. I'm now about to do a workout. I'm going to do just a video and watch it on YouTube and do it and probably incorporate my weights into it somehow. Um, but I'm not going to show you that because I'm going to do a workout routine at the end of January when I've perfected it and when I know it works. So that's what I'm going to do. So I won't show you that. Um, but yes, my body is aching so bad. I did my first workout of the year yesterday and it was just like when you're doing the workout you're like oh my god this is so easy like oh i can do another one of these um towards the end i was a little bit like oh god um but today i was i can't even bend over like i struggle to even get down on the floor right now um so let's see how today's workout goes i might end up having to not do it because yeah hello i'm about to go and make 
a make. I'm about to go and run a bath. The TV's on, by the way. Um, yeah, I'm going to go and run a bath. I've just had tea. It was curry. I forgot to show you it, so I do apologise greatly. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go up and have a bath. It's eight o'clock exactly. And yeah, I've got some Lush stuff to put in it. So I'm actually going to use some of the bubble bar that Leanne got me from Lush. And I'm going to put that in it. I'm running my bath and I'm going to be using this Lush bubble bar. It's Candy Mountain. I've used it before. This is what it looks like and it's one of my favourites. It smells well good. Yeah, I, I accidentally squished the top off so I'm going to go and get that. It's in the packet and I'm going to go and uh, put this in the bay. Right, the bath's running. I just need to turn that off a little bit. Um, the bubbles are forming. Um, I've got my laptop on. I'm watching a video. I'm watching Tarty. And then these are the little things I've got on the side. I've got three chocolates from my uh, celebrations box that I got for Christmas as my little pudding. And then I've got this face mask here from The Ordinary. Um, which is this one here. I've got a body scrub which smells so much like coffee. Well it is practically coffee. Um, and then I've also got a facial scrub slash body scrub which is Zoella's kind of snow range. And then I've got her body wash. And then when I get out I've got the uh, body butter from Zoella's kind of winter range as well. When I have baths I don't actually wash my hair anymore because my hair just goes, like my scalp just gets so itchy and like I can't go two days without washing my hair if I wash my hair in the bath because it just gets so itchy because product just stays in your hair. Whereas if you're in the shower you can clean everything out so much better. So I'm not going to be washing my hair in the bath. I forgot this little guy. Let's take you through to the bathroom and place you nicely here. Good morning. Um, oh my god that was weird. Okay, good morning. Um, it's now the next day and I forgot to end my vlog yesterday. Um, it was just like a little kind of vloggy day. But two things have come in the post. The first one is this brow gel which was supposed to be a Christmas present from my mum but took ages to arrive so that's just arrived. Um, yeah, I knew it was my brow gel and I just opened mum's package anyway. Um, but yeah, and it's in the shade 02 medium brown. So I'm going to give that a go. It's like a gel. So I'll give that a go this morning. And then, oh, my provisional came. My provisional arrived. Yeah, it's like a little card in here. It's not just a piece of paper, but obviously I'm not going to show you that just in case you'd like to steal my identity or something. Um, but yeah, so that's exciting. You probably don't know how long I've been waiting for my provisional. I've been waiting for it for about three and a half months. There's been so many complications and it's finally here. So yeah, basically what I'm going to be doing just to kind of update you on my driving license and what I'm going to be doing. I've now got my provisional. Um, and we're gonna kind of join insurance and license and whatever for dad's car um, and he's gonna teach me to drive throughout kind of this year up until like August like July August time and then throughout the summer holidays or throughout the time off that I have before uni that is when I'm gonna be doing all my lessons and everything and that is when I'm gonna be kind of learning to drive like properly um, and then hopefully be able to kind of do my test and theory and everything before I go to uni, which is kind of, I don't know, it, it is achievable, but who knows if I'll manage it. But that's kind of like my my aim on what I want to do. Um, it obviously depends on like how well I do and stuff like that, because um, you never know what's going to happen. But yeah, I'm really excited to finally have my provisional just to start the year. Um, yeah, yeah, basically. Whoa, that's bright. Um, so that's kind of the plan. My 18th birthday is actually next Monday, so well, actually, when this video goes up, I think this will be the day of my birthday. So yeah, happy birthday to me. Um, but I'll be 18, so obviously I've left it like a year before I started driving, and that's because I don't need to drive, you know, I've been getting on fine. Um, but I, I do need to drive eventually, obviously, but I just, you know, you don't need to rush into anything. I've taken a very slow approach. Um, and I've kind of 
really not push myself or anything I, I like to do things in my own time like when I'm ready for them um obviously like if you have to then you have to um but yeah I'm really happy now and we'll see I am actually a bit scared about these lessons but I think if dad teaches me to drive I might be a little bit better it's just kind of being on the open road um yeah it's a bit scary um anyway so that's kind of like my driving update I will keep you posted on it also uni update i actually got an email from the uni i want to go to and they changed my conditional offer to an unconditional offer so i'm definitely in which is really really good that's the uni i'm definitely going to so there's no pressure on me anymore but i do still want to do well so there is still my own personal pressure on myself um so yeah that's like kind of the update so this video is quite random but you know so i just thought i'd let you know on that um i will keep you posted with everything throughout the year and all that kind of thing but anyway i'm gonna end the video now so give the video a thumbs up please subscribe down below for some more quality content and i will see you very soon goodbye bye